This is Rob with 13 Peppers and I've gotten a lot of comments in the past about one of my videos and today we are going to find out if there's a difference between the cherry bomb and the sweet cherry pepper. Now the third video that I ever created was the um, pepper review of the cherry bomb pepper. Beautiful, beautiful looking pepper I actually grown for a few years. Now this particular pepper that's called the cherry bomb, um, I actually picked up from my local nursery store and the tag and everything like that just say cherry bomb on it which I'll show a picture of that up here because I actually went back this year um, just to go and to see if they are the same thing so um, what I did um, well originally when I got this pepper probably originally eight years ago give or take um, and I've been growing it ever since from my own seeds and when I did the video and the comments as I was getting saying that the cherry bomb pepper is um, also called the sweet cherry pepper um, uh, hot red cherry pepper had a bunch of different names on that and I wanted to actually go back and see if they were similar or not and I did a couple different things this year I actually grew a batch of peppers from my seeds which was this is here I actually picked up a um, couple peppers so I had a couple three peppers from the nursery so I was growing three additional cherry bomb peppers and then I actually picked up seeds from a third party which was called a sweet um, cherry pepper which when I was looking at it, it looked identical to the cherry bomb pepper and I was really curious on seeing if they were all starting to be the same if my peppers were still true to type um, so a whole lot of variables there now there is a couple differences I did notice in the growing of these plants now the um, cherry bomb peppers that I grew from my seeds and also the three plants that I picked up from the nursery they all grew the identical so they grew straight up about three and a half almost four feet tall and the um, peppers actually grew with the stems down so the um, pepper was actually on the very top and they were actually all spaced a little bit away so i didn't have a bunch of these together or grouped together or anything like that so they were spaced all on up down the plant um, and they did that for my um, seeds and also the ones i picked up from the nursery okay now the sweet cherry pepper um, grew the same way with the stem down and the pepper on the top was really nice but these plants um, were actually more compact and the peppers themselves actually grew into tight bunches and when I was trying to get them off of the actual plant to pull them here they were actually kind of difficult having to dig in there and um, so I can get to the stem cut but that was really the difference there the other difference that I had um, on these is the cherry bomb peppers seem to be just a slightly dark uh, slighter, slightly darker red over the um, brighter red which is the sweet cherry pepper okay now the other last real difference and this could have actually affected the whole thing I'm not 100% sure because it kind of happened late after the growing because they were both growing really nice and everything like that and then roughly about three weeks ago I don't know what happened we had a well I do know because the weather around here sucked and <laughs> we had a long stretch where um, we did not have any rain so I was having to go out and manually water my garden um, which kind of became a hassle and I don't know if that had the effect and with on the sweet cherry peppers because pretty much at that point they lost almost all of their leaves entirely. Now the nice thing is, is just because it lost its foliage off of the plant, the peppers and everything still didn't burn. So that was actually really nice because I was worried about getting sunburns and everything on those peppers, but they did not at all. So they still grew nice and bright, um, all bunched up and everything like that. That was kind of the only real difference I had between the plants. Um, then like I said, the cherry bomb peppers grew about three and a half, four feet tall. And I think the tallest the sweet cherries got was about two feet tall. Um, I lost a lot of the leaves and everything like that or I think it probably stunted it at that point and it did not grow any taller after that so 
Um, that's only the real difference from an environment um, aspect on these peppers. I think it was late enough in the season it really didn't affect them, but at this particular point, let's go ahead, cut them open, see if there's a difference, and then we're gonna go ahead and give them a taste. We got our first pepper here, which is gonna be the cherry bomb. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Ooh. As you can see in this one here, it is, walls on this are extremely thick on here. Plus this has a ton of seeds. Um, total combined the seeds and everything in here, I meant as I've done these for years, I meant each one will have probably close to 150 seeds in here. So ton and ton of seeds, but the thickness of the walls and everything of the pepper, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they actually hold a ton of juice and flavor. So love this pepper. All right, now I have the um, sweet cherry pepper here. Let's go ahead and open this one up. I think this should be probably identical to the other one. And yes, very much the same. Um, honestly, just looking at it open, I really cannot tell the difference of it. It got some beautiful, beautiful thick walls, tons of seeds around that center, pla uh, center placenta, and um, a whole bunch of, oh, just, just soft, juicy, beautiful, beautiful peppers. I mean, honestly, I'll put them both right next to each other. You really cannot tell any kind of difference on this actual pepper with this being the um, cherry bomb and this being the sweet cherry. So yeah, last thing we're gonna do to figure out the difference will be the taste. So I got two halves of the pepper here, the cherry bomb and the sweet cherry. And if you can actually see, I did try to get rid of most of the seeds because these things have tons of seeds, but the placenta and everything is still intact on that one. And then also the same thing on that one. So hopefully you can see that, or I'll try to zoom in here, but let's go ahead um, on the taste on here. Let's go ahead and start with the cherry bomb. It got a burst of sweet flavor, plus you get a little bit of the heat. Scoville on this thing, they say it estimates between three and 5,000 on the Scoville scale for the cherry bomb pepper, and that can range anywhere on that. <clears throat> so heat level, if you're eating, very similar to jalapeno um, heat level on that too. So this one is yeah right around there, maybe close to 5,000, but yeah. Not much, just a little bit of a tickle as you're actually eating it. Um, but excellent flavor. The thickness on those walls and everything do hold in the heat. I'm sorry, hold in the juices, which gives you, <clears throat> which gives you a beautiful flavor on that. So excellent grilling and stuffing pepper. So if you hollow it out, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know. It's kind of stuck in the back of my throat. <laughs> But um, hollowing that thing out, throwing it on the grill, stuffing it with some um, mozzarella cheese or whatever it you want. I'm just a fan of mozzarella cheese on that. That would be very, very nice too. So yeah, wonderful, wonderful pepper. So <clears throat> let me get this burned down here and then I'll be right back to actually taste the sweet cherry. Okay. So I wanted to wait till I had no residual capsaicin off of that cherry bomb pepper. It wasn't really hot, but it was still there and it had a little bit of a burn. And I wanted to get a real good taste of the sweet cherry pepper here. So once again, I got half the pepper here. Um, I took out the seeds, but you can still see it got the placenta and everything there too, because there's just a ton of seeds. I didn't want to be chewing seeds all day, but um, yeah. Now this one and also the cherry bomb pepper, they smell identically. So let's go ahead, cause I was really hard trying to find out what the sweet cherry pepper Scoville would be on that. I was getting anywhere from 500 all the way up to 3000. So, but um, we're gonna go ahead, give this a taste and we're going to find out here. Mm. 
Now I got dog parking. Lovely. Okay, on this particular one, apologize for the dogs. Um, on this particular one, I barely have any heat. I have the same fruity um, burst of flavor. Very juicy, very um, flavorful. And these dogs are something else. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Hey, that just happens when you live in an area with other people around you. So, hey, it happens. But um, <clears throat> with that one, I had very little heat. So even if that top 500 Scoville, I would be surprised. So anywhere between 300 to 500 Scoville, if that. There was just a little bit of a tingle of heat in that. So to me, there's... <coughs> Excuse me. There's a definite difference between these peppers. So you're gonna have one that's gonna give you just a little bit of burn, which still gonna give you an excellent flavor, and then one that's just gonna be completely flavored. So, yeah. So after all, to me and what I got, there is definitely a difference. So the cherry bomb, a little bit spicy, very very tasty and fruity. The sweet cherry, very very tasty, hardly any spice at all, but. Beautiful, beautiful stuffing peppers for both. So you can please everybody and give somebody a little bit of a spice, a little bit of something just sweet and nice. Say, ha <laughs> ha it rhymed. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it. That kind of answered the question for me when I grow these. And I'm probably gonna grow both of them because they are wonderful peppers going forward. So, but with that, if you enjoyed what you've seen here today, please subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. You can follow me on a couple of my social medias up here, or you can actually head to my website down below. There I actually sell the seeds from these peppers um, from out of my garden, which will be available here. Um, and you can also um, see the videos I post there. And I sell custom spices and seasonings from the peppers um, that I um, grow. Um, hand make them and everything else too. My words are just not working today. Hey. <laughs> but that's life. That's how things happen. But with that, I want to say thank you all very much again for watching. You have yourself a wonderful, wonderful day.